also on the line to us. Good morning to you, Mr. Njali Njali. Welcome. Uh, good morning, Rowan, and good morning to Mkalipi and your listeners. Mr. Mkalipi, I'm going to start with you. Maybe if you can outline what these changes to the law are and how how they were introduced. Well, these changes are uh, as a result of a long discussion and debate at NETLEC uh, in Parliament. Uh, it took more than two years to introduce this legislation. These changes they deal mainly the ranges from uh, changes that was made uh, in the Labor Relations Act to protect uh, uh, workers who work for part time, workers who work for fixed term contracts, and workers who work for labor broking. And what does it say? I mean, what do the new laws actually say about uh, those workers? Well, the, 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 the new law uh, 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 indicated that employees who are employed. I'll use the term labor broker or brokers. The law does not talk about labor brokers, it talks about temporal employment agencies. Mm. Uh, employees should work for a temporal employment agencies for not, for, not more than three months. If they work more than three months, then they are deemed, this is very important, they are deemed to be employed by the client if they work more than three months. And then the law goes further and says that for people who work, on a fixed term contract, they should not work for more than uh, three months on a fixed term contract. If they work longer than that, then they are deemed to be permanent. Mm. And uh, there are obviously exceptions. Uh, if you are replacing some or two of sick, for example, if you, you go on maternity leave and the department of the SABC need to get somebody to replace you mm. for that time, you know that maternity leave most of the time is four months, it's more than three months. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the person can, in replacing you, work for a period more than three months. Those are the kind of exceptions that are there in the law. But uh, uh, under normal circumstances, if you work more than three months on a system contract, you are deemed to be permanent. If you work more than three months for a, 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 a labor broker, you are deemed to be employed by the client, and the client takes also the responsibility of that employment. That, that's in short what the, 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 the amendments are, are talking to. In reality, is that happening, Mr. Njali Njali? I mean, has there been a positive impact of these laws on the workers? I think there's a, there's a, is, a, is a mixed bag uh, in terms of what has happened. The, the law in, in SAS has been a positive step in dealing with uh, what uh, the abuses that uh, Tim Goss is talking about. I mean, there, there were two... In a, in a way, the, the, the temporal employment services and the labor brokering were, were trying to define in the law their responsibilities. The temporal employment services is trying to provide employment uh, or looking for jobs for people in what is termed to be a client. And on the basis of that, we hope that after three months, like in any other ordinary work where you will have worked your probation, you become employment at that time, you become employed at mm. that time, then the service of the labor broker should come to an end and the client should take over in, in regard to that particular employee. But also separating the issues, as Mkhalip was correctly pointing it out, that replacing somebody like somebody who's going to maternity leave will not be filling in this particular category because you'll be replacing for somebody for a specified period and that employee will be coming back. But coming back to your question, it is a mixed bag. I mean, there are very there are employers who are really following the law after the three months period, workers become permanent. But there are some who are really will try every time to look for the loopholes in the law and be able to recycle those workers. That is illegal. The difficulties though that we have is that when those employers do that kind of stuff, we don't have enough enforcement agencies. The Department of Labor, in terms of its uh, resources and capacity, is not able to ensure that there is a full um, 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 enforcement of the law. Like in any other states, um, when people are breaking law, you will not have a police in every workplace. But I think that's where we, we have some problems with it. That's why they call continuously being made by workers that totally ban the labor brokers is because of their frustration by some other unscrupulous employers.